You did not catch me napping right there. Actually, in this video, I'm going to show you a couple odd ways that you can cause yourself muscle imbalances, and that could even develop into injuries later on down the road. Uh, a couple weeks back, I noticed that uh, I had a lot of elbow pain, and I was thinking it was from exercise, but it turns out that it wasn't. I was actually sleeping with my arm extended off the bed, and what that was doing, you know, because you're totally relaxed when you're sleeping, it was causing a lot of pressure on this joint, and it kept building over time and getting worse, getting worse, and finally I figured out Hey, listen, it's worse in the morning when I'm getting up. And so that was a good indicator that was something doing I was sleeping. I finally noticed that that's what was going on. So be careful of any extremities that are hanging off the bed. That puts a lot of pressure on your joints. If you are a side sleeper, you definitely want to make sure that you have a pillow in between the knees. So you create that separation there. You really also need a small pillow right up under the hip and this so your back's not sinking in in the mattress. And then you definitely want to pillow in the neck. That way you just keep your spine in line. So the more your spine's in line, the better off you're going to feel. If you wake up in the morning, you're feeling tight, achy, that's a good indicator that you're sleeping in some, some awkward position. So you want to be careful about that. Another way that you can easily cause an injury yourself, and it may not be something that you think of, is kind of a lazy habit. And I have this habit. It's terrible, and it really comes from just not tying my shoes and then slipping them right back on. See, what happens is when you do this, there's a big gap in the back area. So when you do any kind of pushing movements, your ankle will slide up and it causes more pressure on the calf and that Achilles tendon is right there in the bottom of your foot. So you really, and anytime, if you're just running air or something, that's fine, but if you're in them all day long, you're going up steps, you're doing some athletic positions where you're pushing off, really want to lock those shoes down and that way those shoes stay on you a little better and you don't cause that unnecessary pressure. So a lot of the things that we do to, to create issues and injuries is behavioral patterns. It's how you sit, how you sit in your car, how you sit at your desk, how you're sleeping at night, tying your shoes. Those are serious things that you want to be careful of and pay attention to and, and, and see if those are causing imbalances or, or things that could be injuring you. Another way is when you're working out, when you're actually exercising. As you get older, I've noticed that myself and other people, if we have, we, we develop elements, you know, throughout the year. So when we work out, we want to we want to do what? Not cause those things to get worse so we don't get, want to get injured. So let's say you got a knee, a knee pain. Well, a lot of people, will, well, they'll, they'll go up to an exercise and say, well, let me see how my knees feel today. And they'll start doing squats and they're focused on the knees. They want to know how their knees are feeling. You need to do the total opposite of that because what that's going to cause you to do is to use the knees more. I know, you don't, I know you're trying not to get hurt, but if you're focused on that, that's what you're going to be using. And there was a lady that I was correcting exercise the other day and she was squatting like this right here. Knees were going way out over the toes. I know she already had a knee issue. I said, hey, listen. I said, quit thinking about your knees. I said, put your weight in your butt and your hips and your thighs. And she said, okay. And she, so and immediately she got into a perfect squat position because she started focusing on the right muscle groups. Those muscle groups started firing. And everything that you do as far as you know, using your muscles, it, it, there's a neural connection that you have to do from your brain to your muscles. So, you got to be thinking about what muscle groups you need to be working and not thinking about the stuff that you're trying not to work, right? So stay focused on that and keep getting better.